Hi there, this is a speed painting video for the mines. Uh, there's a lot of good tutorials out there on how to paint scenery, but these tutorials are speed painting tutorials. So if you've got a lot of scenery and you want to paint it really quickly, the, this is what you need to do. Uh, the paints that you're going to need, you're going to need a primer. Now we've got there a brown primer. Uh, you're going to also need what's called a wash. Um, you can get a big Villagio wash um, or these quick shade dark tones and uh, washes are really good because that's what fills in all these little cracks and gives a definition. Um, you're going to need matte black, brown which is going to be the highlights on the wood and grey which is the highlights on the rocks. So you're going black, the grey highlight, the spray which is the wood and the wood highlight and then uh, either a silver or a copper or something for the uh, little um, highlights here. Okay, so first of all, um, this is, I've already sprayed this. So this is sprayed and I've used a satin. You can even use a gloss because afterwards when we put the quick shade on, uh, this makes it go matte. So you don't have to worry about uh, using a matte primer. Now I just use the cheapest primer I can get uh, and it just as long as it says primer on it, it's good and uh, it sticks to plastic. So first of all, I'm going to paint the um, like you'd probably do a whole bunch of these in one go, but we're basically just going to paint the um, the black rock. It's actually easier to spray the whole thing and spray this color for the wood. And then paint the paint the black rock afterwards because you can quickly just get in there like that. This is a little bit slower than doing the dungeon tiles, so it looks a little bit more um, it's a little bit more finicky. Oops, he's got a bit of paint on there by mistake, but. So that's just, you just basically cover the whole thing. Um, you don't have to be too, you don't have to worry too much about being too clean around here. And I'll show you why afterwards when the black wash goes on, that'll kind of sort that all out. Um, the main thing is, is to cover it all. And it's good to get these little edges down here because they kind of, they make it look really cool and they, sit, they sort of add a definition to these parts here. So that's the black primer. Oh, sorry, the black uh, fit base coat. So you've got your primer, which is brown, and your base coat black. You could do it the other way around. It's just going to be harder to paint. So this is the dry one. Exactly the same. Um, so going to get a different brush so I'm just going to dry this brush now this is going to be dry brushing I'm going to dry brush to get this rock look so all you want to do is take a little bit of um, grey this is your grey highlight and you're going to brush that out so there's hardly any on your brush like that it's almost it's almost like you haven't got any paint on it and then you brush it on trying not to hit the uh, thing now don't worry if it slops a little bit because afterwards we're going to put a wash so that's it there just going over it it's probably a little bit too intense but we're going to put the wash on in a minute so don't worry about it for now and uh, then again and when you're painting these you do a batch so you would do you know 20 tiles at a time or something uh, and then we're going to put through the wood dry brush so as long as this color here can be any brown color as long as it's lighter than your base color and it's just going to go over there like that he can kind of doesn't matter don't worry if you splodge it a little bit 
Um, you want to just get it like that. And there it is, just dry brushing a bit of wood, texture around the place. And you go through and do them all like that. Then once that's done, this is them here. So that's, um, I've also done the black, um, painted black in here. So I know, but I've just left that. So I wanted like a black, completely black floor. Might put a very bit of highlight on when I'm completely finished. So now is the time for the dark tone. So this is your wash. So dark tone. It's a bit dark actually. So this is like an inky kind of paint. And this sits in the gaps so you put it on and if you can see there it's just going to fill up some of those gaps and you just poke it all into the gaps um, and you can see around here you know where I said it doesn't matter if you kind of go over the lines a little bit and we put our wash in there it all kind of looks good So that's the wash and then that's it dried and you dry it dry them all and that's how it comes out now when you're finished if you want to be real extra kind of professional you can go over it again just very lightly with a dry brush just be very dry and you just go over again and just just touch up those highlights and you can use multiple color on the wood um, if you look at this, that's just where we've used different colours on these woods. But that's the same technique, we'll just use more browns, brown wash. And then, when you're finished, just grab your, um, whatever you want for your rivets, and you just go over, just basically touch the tops of the rivets. And then it's you done. You can actually do those rivets just before you do the wash if you want, but I usually do them afterwards because they're brighter. There you go. Speed painting. As I say, uh, a lot of people will look at this tutorial and laugh because it is really rough. But the overall effect when you put that down, you know, in a massive dungeon. It looks amazing.